Three Chinese land ports connecting China and Nepal have witnessed steady growth in traffic since they fully resumed operations earlier this year. The Jampur resumed two-way passenger traffic on September the 1st after being closed for eight years. It was a major gateway between China and Nepal before 2015, when a mega earthquake hit Nepal, forcing it to stop service. After the resumption, Nepalese people with border residence certificates are able to purchase daily necessities in the border markets in China. सामान किन्ना भी नहीं बच्चे बाहर विषय थी रहो नेपाल के बाजार में त्याग थी रसे अली मंगो ने उनसा और ये ताज़े अली स्वस्थ होने में रहे ये ताज़े नागा खोलता हम लोग एकदम ही सांझ होने चाहिए। Today I'm here to buy some boots and some clothes for my children. It's very good news for us when the border is open, so we are very happy. Manager said the port handles over 700 inbound arrivals. And more than 250 tons of goods on a daily basis. The Girung Port fully resumed passenger and cargo services on April the 1st this year. As an important port for international tourists to enter Tibet, the port has seen a growing number of tourists in recent months. Uh, mostly many uh, tourists from all over the globe. So everyone here are. Coming to visit Lhasa, Mount Kailas, so uh, it's uh, it's been like very good opportunity for the people because they can work as a porter and border guide, and they can visit the new places in China. The poor witnesses the transit of more than 80 inbound or outbound vehicles and up to 1,000 border crossing visits each day. Burang Port resumed two-way passenger clearance on May the first. It neighbors both Nepal and India. The border markets here have attracted hundreds of Nepalese businessmen to open businesses. Now over 2,000 Nepalese people live in Burang County.